All right. Uh, well, considering that I've put Jonathan so, through such uh, stress here with the slides, I decided to give up my slides here. Uh, because my, my message at this point is very simple. Who is the first person you have to hire when you start a business? Yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Yourself. So the first thing that we should do is, and, and of course that's, that's a, a guy, a, a person that you, you, you cannot think, well, there's, there's better alternatives, right? Because if you want to be part of the, 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 the business, you will have to be there. And, but you, you, you can first check or, or analyze what the, the, the good uh, aspects of your personality are for, for becoming an entrepreneur and which ones you have to work on or where you need uh, maybe either the help of other people, uh, counseling or whatever, or uh, eventually uh, for the co-founders that can uh, cope with those parts of uh, yourself that you, you don't see in yourself, right? So the first way we have to remember, we are our first employees. And if we are the first employees, uh, what are our main qualities? Well, most of us here, PhD uh, holders or, you know, postdocs, uh, some of us graduate students, one thing that we've definitely proved the world is that we are smart, right? uh, and also that we are we persevere on the things that we do. That's very important for an entrepreneur, right? Because things start with enthusiasm, but just after that first bit of enthusiasm, we have all the bad news, and it's only bad news at the beginning. You know, there is no cash coming in. The cash flow is really bad when you you talk that you have to talk to bankers. You talk to bankers in a very bad, very bad position because you have only an idea, and uh, so uh, we. But we, we persevere. We can live for most of you who've been here as postdocs or who have been uh, working on your thesis for four, five, six years. Sometimes you know, uh, eating noodles every night. Uh, that means that you can also live on a very small budget. That is also very good at the beginning. Right? So we have, there's a lot of uh, those things that we are very good at, that are very good in an enterprise. But, uh, and, and this, this is uh, something that uh, Peter uh, Fisk, that was one of the mentors that we had here at uh, well, Naresh, you can talk a little better about him uh, later, that he used to say, but there's also things that we are bad at. And one of the things that we are usually bad at is we love to be in the lab, Spend six months there to find out something that in business, at least, you could get on a 15-minute call, right? Uh, we're perfectionists, but we, want, we, we have this thing that we want to find everything by ourselves and our way, or at the library, right? The world of business doesn't happen at the library because we have to provide, people we're talking here about business value, we have to provide business value to a customer. Right, so we have to talk to the customer, and in fact, not talk at the customer. That's also another thing that we usually in, in academia are very good at. We are good at talking at people. We, I mean, we're lecturers, right, many times, or at least we've, we've been hearing so many lectures that that's the kind of relationship that we, we sort of engage in. Uh, and uh, so we, we want to talk. We think that we have great ideas. We want to tell other people about them, but we forget that we have to listen. Uh, and listening is something that we should all think that it's something that we'll have to change if we want to become good entrepreneurs, right? Uh, so some qualities of an academia, some, uh, some general problems that we all have, uh, but things that we have to be aware of uh, with respect to becoming entrepreneurs. Uh, and then when we have to hire the second person, or maybe invite, make a phone call to it's usually a friend, you know. Uh, well, we, we can debate that later. Uh, Jonathan seems to, for the conversation that we had before we started here, it seems to have already a, a little different idea to, to mind. But I also started my first company with four, my four best friends. We were all very similar in many things. In, in fact, there's a very good thing, and I, I, I think it, there's trust there, right? Trust is very important. You have to trust people so that you commit to only eating medals and be sure that they are also eating noodles and they're not uh, having a, a, a barbecue, right, uh, with the little money that the company has uh, at the beginning. So you, you know that everyone is putting the same effort. 
So it's good to have trust, but at the same time, in our case, we started and uh, I, I said I was not going to talk about the bad uh, things right now, I'll leave them for later, but we were four electric, electrical engineers, electronics or that's, it's, it's the computer science of the 80s, um, and we didn't know anything about business, and we were not in the Bay Area, we were back in Brazil, right? All this infrastructure that you have, you go to Haas, talk to, to, to some business professor there and they give you some hints or they say, take my class and you'll be all right or you just get one of my MBAs and, and have uh, him uh, hang around and uh, those things were not available to us. So for one of the problems that we had from the beginning, we were four, but we were actually just one. We had very little diversity. And I would say diversity at the beginning seems to me to be something important. You have to have other people that think differently to you. Of course, it would be good if they all, they're all are balanced in power. It's, I, I, I understand this thing of uh, you know you, you're talking to your ex advisor. It's it's probably an awkward uh, situation when we all become uh, partners in a business. But you have to have people that think as differently to you as you can because it's the the, the beginning of and then of course it's it, it, it it's only worth if you can listen to them right uh, because it's it's playing with uh, having this what I call the devil's advocates, people that were going to say, okay, I understand what you're saying, but what if, and, and, and people start making you feel that your ideas are not that great, right? They will make you go a little slower. We are too, sometimes we're too enthusiastic with our great ideas, and it's good that we are enthusiastic because otherwise we don't even start. But at the same time, it's good if we have someone that sees the, the problems and the the good things from different perspectives than, than, than we do. We, we should explore that as much as we can, of course, but we have to have other good listeners around. We have to become good listeners, and we have to make sure that we choose other partners that are good listeners, that will tell what their impression is, but be willing to, to understand also what, uh, what, what your perspective is, and, and then and only judge at the end. Right? Um, Sometimes we choose, and I'm talking, you know, I started two companies, uh, so, and, and I committed mistakes in, in choosing partners, uh, probably in, in both of them. They, they were great people, some of them are still very good friends, uh, but I realized that maybe we have chosen, if, we, if I had chosen differently, we, 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 we could have taken uh, uh, our enterprises in, in, in even different uh, uh, directions. Uh, well, exploring diversity for sure, um, and also uh, considering, I think, uh, another, another issue that you may consider is considering that it is, if everyone in, in the group wishes to be exposed to the same level of risk, right? you may have the impression that entrepreneurs are risk takers. Uh, to some extent, we are, right? but we usually calculate very well because we are eating noodles, and we will not even have the noodles to eat if we, if, if we do things really, if we mess up with things, right? So the, the, you have to have partners that are willing to be exposed to the same, same level uh, of um, risk that you are, I think, at the beginning, right? And maybe this is the thing of settling in or checking how, how, how much time are we going to put into this, how much efforts, for how long we will try before, you know, we we decided we have to get a job because for you it may be three years and for one of your partners it, it may be six months and, and, and of course that's going to cause a problem after two or three months already because they will already be seeing no light at the end of the tunnel and you still have a long way to go so all of those things have to be uh, considered right uh, one of the situations that I, I had with my partners in the first uh, company was that as soon as we, we started the company my wife got pregnant, she's, she's there a few minutes. Uh, I became much more conservative than I was just a few months before, right? because of that. And that made uh, us uh, change, or at least me change a lot of uh, my perception of, of, of the business and how far we should go, how much we should risk or could risk. Uh, of course, that's not something that we had agreed on our pre, you know, when we, we were deciding on the company, is, is anyone going to have children uh, or, or whatever. Uh, but uh, just saying that sometimes even the same person becomes more conservative 
or, or changes their perception even about risk as different situations in, in life happen. 